it has momentarily stopped raining. So I figured it'd take a minute. And um, I was thinking about some other questions people ask. One is, where do you camp? <laughs> That's different depending on where you are. On the AT, I mostly stayed in shelters or I would set up my tent near the shelter. We're basically any flat spot, preferably near a water source. I'm just sitting in my tent, eating a block of sharp cheddar cheese. Good morning. This is the whole situation right now at the city hall of Lake Butler. I gotta go put this somewhere to dry. It's soaked. Um, Florida Trail, set up your tent all the time. There were like three shelters though along the way. Two of them were two story, which was pretty sweet. No, one was two story. The other one was one story, but it had a little loft in it. I love a loft, it makes me feel like I'm at summer camp. Um, then there was the Holton Creek River Camp. That's awesome also. It's a screened in raised platform with a, um, a fan and electricity so you can charge your devices. Also has a bathroom, temperature controlled. It's fancy. It's like glamping basically. Holton Creek River Camp. Mm -hmm. We out. Dollar G gang, baby. We roll. <laughs> It's 25.3 degrees. So says Wes and his refrigerator thermometer. Everybody survived. That guy was pretty cold. This is, this is Florida. It's not supposed to be 23. It's true. Carrie's okay because she put her feet inside of her pack. Good morning. I'm going to get on that little pond here shortly. There's a canoe. I'm not really a canoeer. I'm a kayaker. So I feel like that should translate. We'll see. First shelter on the Coosa. Right on a lake. We're going to go in through the porch so we don't get the floor all wet. Because somebody will be sleeping down there. Guys, paradise. Tonight we're paradise. sleeping in a shelter on the Coosa Trail. Got our stuff laid out. There's Jeff. So we'll piss off the neighbors. Yep. <laughs> There's Pun's little bunk. He's already making his cold soak and stuff, but we're having hot cocoa tonight, son. Yep. Thank goodness for this. It is cold. It's warm. It's warm. So that's a good rainy. Thing. It is warm. This is just lovely. In a platform? In the hand pump? <laughs> Black water shelter. Probably sleep two, three people. Picnic table. Fire ring. It's only like 20, 20 miles in or something. Going north. For shelter on black water. It wasn't supposed to rain or there wasn't a lot of uh, moisture in the air, which is usually just cowboy camp. And uh, Arizona Trail, also cowboy camping because it's super dry. There is zero moisture in the air, so you can just cowboy camp every night. No worries. So roll out the Tyvek, blow up your sleep pad, put down your sleep stuff and Sleep under the stars, fantastic. Um, now we're on this Alabama roadwalk. On the Alabama Roadwalk, you kind of just have to stealth camp. We've basically been under bridges, which are fine. <laughs> Jeff's back there singing. He's gonna get something stuck in my head, I just know it. Anyway, 
Yeah, mostly under bridges and behind churches because they're pretty welcoming. They'll let you just set up your tent out back. It's been pretty nice. Full moon tonight, boys. Camping behind a church. Centenary Assembly of God. We slept out back last night. Tried to get a hold of somebody. Couldn't. Seems okay, though. Uh, basically across the street from the cemetery. Okay, it's a full moon out tonight. This guy Thomas stopped us on our way out of Dozier this morning and he said, evil stuff happens out in these parts, which was a little bit spooky. Then he gave us his phone number in case we get in a bind. I don't know though. Anyway, we're sleeping on the back porch of a church, so hopefully we'll be all right. This is probably where we're gonna sleep tonight. Alabama Roadwalk, Stealth Spot. It's a little questionable. <laughs> also, we go into town. Probably, I'd say every four to seven days is what I prefer to do. So that I can get a shower, do my laundry, get more food. And when we go into town, we have a couple of options. We can either stay at a hostel, which those are really awesome. I mean, usually they're well-priced and they have all the facilities we need and it's fun to hang out with other hikers. Haven't really been any of those though yet. We should run into those on the AT. Actually, there's one on the Pinhoti we're getting to soon. And there's that, or we could stay at a cheap hotel. You can split that with a bunch of hikers smells bad but it can be inexpensive depending or you might get real lucky and have an amazing trail angel like Nancy or there are a lot of trail angels out there but um, our last one Nancy she really took care of us we get to go to go home with her hang out with her and her puppies and her family and she fed us and it was just great so yeah those are pretty much the options Yeah, well, Brutus! Like Tyvex, like oh! Don't put your butt in. Just like Look at his little booty shake! Yeah, like some people scratch his butt. Don't we all, buddy? <laughs> That's magical. Well. I have not done as many miles today as I wanted. I'm at like 25, I think. But I had the best campsite ever. I mean, this is beautiful. All right, let's go into the yurt. I want a yurt.